Just imagine, take two people, you throw them in a cage, and it's locked from the outside. There's no way out unless you tap, nap, or jump over the cage. Felt like the movies when you're watching the gladiator. Everybody's cheering for them, and it's kind of surreal. I remember I was elbowing her in the face. I was like, I'm actually fighting somebody, and people are cheering me on to do it. My name is Marion Renault. I am a former UFC fighter. I am a former educator, a full-time mom, and a full-time coach. I was raised in Porterville, California, on the east side of town, and saw my mom and dad struggle a lot. But it wasn't until high school when I was like, I want to do something more. I want to be in the limelight as a track star, set records, be in the Olympics. That was my dream. I left to Long Beach State. I was on the track team on a Fulbright scholarship. And then my senior year, re-injured myself. I graduated and I just started working at a Enterprise Rent-A-Car. And then I got pregnant. I was a single mother and I was barely making it. I came here to Visalia. I worked at Farmersville High School. I was their PE teacher. I had to pay car notes, I had to pay rent, I had to pay for daycare, and then feed him and myself. There was a point where I was basically starving myself just to feed my son. Just being alone, doing things solo, and struggling for so long, you hit a low. I remember I was sitting on my futon, I turned on my TV. I seen Gina Carano and Chris Ivor. And I'm like, wait a minute, women are fighting? It snapped me out of whatever I was feeling at that moment, and it totally changed me. I woke up the next morning with a purpose. I want to start boxing. When I had my first fight, I was 29 years old. I just remember that Josh looked at me and he said, you need the win, you need the money. Do it for your son. And I went in there with a vengeance. I want to hold $300 that fight. I went right to the grocery store and I bought $300 worth of food. I did some local fights here in the area and all of a sudden, there's female fighters in the UFC. So they put up a ultimate fighting championship house. There was hundreds of women and they were only picking 20. They're like, so you're 36 years old. And I was like, uh-oh. I had been cut and was pretty much just about ready to quit. I get a call from my coach. We have a fight for you. It's with the UFC and I'm like, what? I got to Vegas and everything was just so amazing to me. My eyes were wide open and I was just taking in everything. The fans were coming up to you, asking for autographs, and I'm like, me? <laughs> I haven't even fought yet. They knew everybody on the card. To show up, I was just getting four grand. To win, I was getting four grand. More than I've ever had in my whole entire life at one time. This was my one shot to save money like I want to for my son's education. I just remember, don't let her hit you, you hit her first. The outcome was my hand raised. The students had set up posters all throughout the school congratulating me. I felt so extremely happy, like I had a purpose. Two weeks later, I get a call again. Hey, we have another fight for you. It's in Brazil. We get in the fight and I ran into one of her punches and the crowd is just losing their mind. They were chanting, you're gonna die, you're gonna die and she happened to just fall right into my triangle and she tapped and it was just silent. As a single parent who was struggling, oh, I can't do it, I have my kid, bring your kid. Let them see you working, have them help you. I'd get back on Sunday and that very Monday I'd be back at work. The kids were just like, I couldn't believe I saw you on TV fighting. They always wanted to talk about it. I say, listen, you can be from a small town and make big noise. You don't have to just get stuck. Small town girl, big time noise. 